Yo, what's up everybody? This is Jeremy with Fat Airlines. It's nice to see you all. Uh, thanks for all you all being here. We got Plane Gaming, Plane Next Gaming here. We got Bus Spotter London here. Roger's here. What's up, Roger? Um, Neon Plane Spotting's here. 747. Um, Adam Cack is here. What's up, dude? Um, well, Spitfire, Invader, Luke, Flammy. Um, Ruben is here, Adam Todd is here, Luke Supers, uh, anybody else? A World of Airports fan is here too, nice. What's up guys, hey, we got some cool things we're gonna be talking about today. Um, you know, we, we've had World of Airports for almost a year, or 2.0 for almost a year, and recently I've been really thinking about, you know, just kind of making money in the game, and also, what's the best way to play? And, uh, you know, when 2.0 first came out, I, I was all about doing player, non-player contracts as well as player contracts. But now I have a different opinion on it. And I'm going to tell you guys why I have a different opinion on it. We also have, we also have a new call sign competition happening right now on the Fat Airlines Discord, uh, which we're going to talk about as well later in the stream. So we got some uh, two two cool things we're going to be talking about. I'm excited to uh, chat with you guys about it. Um, we're also I don't know if you guys saw the short, but we're also giving away a Concord weekly on the Fat Airlines Discord. So Gato Val here won this Concord through a giveaway on on the Fat Airlines Discord. So I invite you guys to all join the Fat Airlines Discord, and you guys can uh, potentially win win you know, uh, a Concord contract for me. You know, that's one of, one of the things, one of the reasons why I'm doing that too is uh, just, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a fun time. Concords travel fast and it's, a, it's great to be able to just give other people in the community a chance to get, you know, a, a Concord at their airport. So I'm pretty excited about that. What's up, Mike? Um, Ari Mays here, uh, Gian Marcos here, nice. Do you know about the A320 update? That's a great question, man. Uh, we were talking about that last month on stream, and the A320, uh, it is getting an update. It's getting an updated model. We're getting a, a, a remodel for the A320. We're getting a remodel for the A319 and the A19N as well. And uh, with that, I'm warning everybody, you want to make sure if, if those are planes that you're interested in, you want to buy them now. You know, those planes, the prices in gold planes are going to go up once the plane, once those, uh, once that update gets released. So you definitely want to check it out and unlock the plane now if you're, if that's, a, those are planes you want to get. Now, as far as the timeline, when is it going to get released? We don't really have that information yet. Um, that information has not been shared. We really haven't seen much other than uh, some new updated liveries from the developers. Uh, you can see that on Instagram. Um, one thing we do know uh, that we've heard is, you know, the taxi update is also coming too, right? So if you guys don't know about the taxi update, you guys could check out the World of Airports forum and DevBlog19 talks about the um, about one of the problems that are having that happens often in world of airports, which is aircraft getting stuck on on taxiways, and uh, they're developing a brand new taxiway system from the ground up. And essentially, um, we're, we're expecting they're expecting us to see this update in 2.3. Now, when is 2.3 going to come? We don't really know, and we don't know what these features all look like. But one of the features that we do know, because they told us, is hold position. So we'll see more about this taxi update. And I'm excited to see what this looks like. Is this going to give us more like direct control over the paths of the planes and which path they take? Or is it going to be something more like uh, just, you know, a cool little feature that you use every once in a while? Um, you know, the like tower manager was game changing when it came out at 2.1. You know, we're able to automatically land planes. Um, and also speed up the landing. We're also able to automatically depart planes, automatically select and assign stands, and automatically manage pushback. So that's those are that was such a cool update, and um, I'm excited to see what what happens there. 
Also, if you guys don't know, we're also expecting to see Sydney Airport sometime soon. I don't know when that's coming out either. So that's another one that uh, that you guys got to keep an eye out for because that could be coming out any that could be coming out with the next update or it could take a little bit more time. So we still haven't heard about that either. But yeah, one of the things you know I'm doing in my airports is I'm handling a lot less. Uh, I'm I'm handling fewer. Um, non-player planes so I just canceled this contract over here for this Etihad um, A388 you know this contract is complete it's done you know it doesn't have any it's not gonna show up anymore um, and I'm doing that for a lot of reasons you know if you're looking at even if you're looking at pla planes that are not other players um, well hold on let me let me let me f move back a little bit so I have 476 contract capacity at this airport and every two days I can buy more contract capacity in each of my airports. It costs 1,000 silver planes for one extra contract capacity or uh, 2,500 for three extra contract capacity. So I've been doing that in most of my airports almost every other, you know, every two days I purchase extra contract capacity. and. Now I'm at 476 contract capacity at London Heathrow. So I wanna, I wanna, my first focus is I want to just help other players get silver planes. If you look over here on the top, I have 726,000 silver planes. Um, that is a lot and there's no way I can use all those silver planes even if I use the tower manager even if I keep buying contract capacity so I need to use them and I keep using them on contract capacity um, and every once in a while I'll also use it on handling crew so that's one of the first things I want to have more contracts with other players that way I can help them with contracts um, Who's in who, somebody in chat said they're gonna send me a triple seven LHR? Yeah, that's great. I invite everybody if you want to send me a plane to my LHR or to my Washington, those are my two main airports that I play almost daily. I invite you to send me a contract request and I will accept it, especially here at LHR. I have 476 contract capacity, I have 95 free slots, and this is an airport that I play at least once per day. And uh, we can we can get your contracts done in 10 days, you know. So if you're looking for silver planes or XP and you have a fleet plane and you want to send it my way, feel free. Um, also, you could join the Fat Airlines Discord because on that Fat Airlines Discord, we have a bunch of people looking for contracts as well. Um, that's also where I go if when I have planes that are available to send. Um, so if you guys, if you are looking for a plane to be sent from me, join the Fat Airlines Discord, make a, a contract board post, and uh, when I have planes ready to send, I'll send them your way. So the, that's the first reason. I wanna do more contracts with other players, and uh, that's the first reason why I'm not doing non-player contracts anymore. Um, so like this contract over here, it's gonna be, I'm gonna keep working it, but once it's finished, once it's finished and I get the rewards, once the 10 handlings are done, I'm gonna cancel the contract. Um, that way I can open up more contract capacity for other players. Um, the second reason is because I wanna buy more fleet planes. Um, now, I'm inviting everybody, anybody can send me a contract, but I still have 95 free, con uh, free contract slots. So there's, I don't think, I mean, I'd be really impressed with all you guys if uh, I got 95 requests, but I also probably wouldn't accept 95 requests because we want to, you want to have some fleet planes in your, in your airport. Fleet planes make you the most money. So check this out. I've, I've talked about this on a, on a short, you guys can look at the short, but like look at this, uh, the 752 going to Muscat, right? This is my 752 and it's making 2000 501 wallers now we're gonna find a, another 752 that's coming from muscat that might not be mine um that's not a 752 mine as well look this is another one that's going to muscat 2691 wallers um where else 
Nobody's sending me planes from Muscat? That's sad. Alright, I don't even need to show a 752 because uh, that's the first one I picked. That's another, that's my uh, 359. Alright, I don't even have to show because look, these are L planes, right? And compared to my medium plane, my medium 752, this L plane, the A35K, is only bringing me 1,500 dollars. So my medium plane is bringing me in more money than someone else's large plane. So that's another reason why I'm, I'm buying more fleet planes and I'm getting rid of the non-player contracts. So that way I can make more wallers. I need a lot more wallers, if, especially if I want to do, I'm doing weekly contract giveaways of my Concorde and other special planes in uh, in World of Airports. So yeah, you def that's, that's one of the reasons why um, and since I have an abundance of silver planes, it just kind of, I'm able to continually add more and more contracts. Uh, I'm looking forward to the day where I could be struggling for silver planes again, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon when I have 726,000 uh, silver planes. So I just need to use them, um, get, get more contracts. And essentially my goal now is to help other people with leveling up, you know, helping other people get their contracts. Look at this. We got three contracts in. Thank you guys. Accepted. Yeah, you know, my goal is to help other people complete their contracts. So especially like if you if you are working on leveling up your airport, let me know. Cause then I'll try to heart your plane or I'll make sure that if I see your plane that we're gonna handle it like one of the first planes that we handle. Um So yeah, I'm gonna, let me talk to the chat for a second and uh see how you guys are doing. What's up, David? David Elio is here. Nice. Rocket Talon is here. Nice. Um, <laughs> whoa, where did my Concord go? Yeah, we did hit a thousand uh, members on Discord recently, so that was pretty exciting. Um, what else is here? Spitfire has one Concord on randoms. I have a few Concords on randoms. So uh, uh, I want you guys to share with me, like tag me in Instagram or tag me in the, the Discord, in the Fat Airlines Discord, or even the World of Airports Discord. Tag me if you get one of my my Concords, especially. I want to I want to see them. So yeah, I have a Concord going on random. Roll off can't buy the A three twenty one Neo. Yeah, that's a that's a new plane that's coming out. So unfortunately, we we we're all gonna have to pay full price for that, and. All the new planes, the A320, the A319, the A19N, uh, those aren't new planes, sorry. But all of those planes that we can that we currently have in the game, they're probably going to go up in price. So you want to make sure you're you're getting it updated um, or purchasing it if it's what you want. Um, how's my LHR, dude? It's busy. Mike, you have over 830,000 silver planes. Nice. I know you do a lot of contracts with uh, other players too. So I think you said you're you're also doing something similar, canceling all your non-player contracts too. So yeah, we can't. <laughs> Let's see. Can I send Snow White planes? Yeah, I don't I don't mind any any uh, livery any any plane. I'm not picky, um, but send to my LHR, send to my Washington. Um, you can also send to any airport after Prague. All those other airports, I play maybe um, every other day. I've been playing them a lot more recently though, because uh, I just put the tower manager on. I just activate all three tower managers, put them on for a couple minutes, and we just handle them. Another thing too, that I was thinking about doing, but I haven't started yet because I'm not, I don't think, I don't think Sydney's coming out. The new airport is coming out like anytime soon. Um, I, I hope I'm wrong, but eventually I'm going to start saving up some of these planes, especially the planes that are at a hundred percent, you know, the contract, um, the contracted handlings are at a hundred percent. I'm going to start saving them up so I can bank the XP for for unlocking the next airport for free. 
I need to update the subscriber goal. Nice, dude, I reached 4,500, let's go. My next goal is 5,000. So we're gonna try to reach 5,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube. It, it was funny, cause um, I got hyped on, on what the, I got hyped with the VIPs in the Discord cause I misread it. I, we, we were at 4,497 and I was like, guys, I am three subs away from 5,000. And then somebody uh, corrected me like, uh, that's 4,500. And I, I, I just felt so silly. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Hammy? Is this Fat Empire account? No, it's not. This is this is my main account. Um, on Fat Empire, we've been playing Fat Empire on Twitch because we have um, on Fat Empire we have a way for people to redeem contracts on Twitch. So that way, when we're doing streams on Twitch, uh, people can redeem those contracts. And that way, the people who are who are more most active on Twitch streams are also the ones um, getting contracts. And then not only that, they're also most likely the ones to be sending me planes during the right times. So, Adam Cack sent me something nice. I did. I see. I saw that earlier. Yep. I'm catching up on chat, guys. Um, look at that Concord over there. Let's change the camera angle. This is another non-player plane that I'm gonna cancel after I handle it two more times. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of planes available soon because if I go back, if I go to some other airports, like let's let's go. I'm gonna. I know I have a uh, tower managers running, so I'm gonna go back to LHR. But let me go to uh, Innsbruck, like for example, right? Innsbruck, I still have a bunch of non-player contracts, which I need to cancel. I just want to get the rewards and then cancel them. Unless it's, a, you know, this one is at three out of six. This one's at one out of four. But, like, check this out. If I go to fleet down here on the bottom, and then I go to transferred. Transferred are where all of your planes are. If you played before 2.0, transferred is where all of your planes are that you had before 2.0's release. So look at here, I got five B-463s. I have one 738F. Um, I have two CRJ-9s. I have two AT-76s. Um, you know, I have two B-38Ms. I have six 752s. So I have all these planes left to redeem. Um, so I'm gonna be having a bunch of contracts very soon that we can uh, send out to other people. Oh look, famous plane. I'm going to be canceling some of these contracts. And then what I do is I go into this menu here and I buy the one extra capacity and I buy the two, uh, I mean, the three extra capacity. And I've been doing that for almost every single one of my airports. So I'm going to be doing a lot of these things later today is redeeming some of those transferred planes and uh, essentially, essentially getting, getting more contracts with other players. I've also been setting up some of my new planes. I've also been setting up some of my new planes on uh, random arrivals. So hopefully you guys see a lot more random arrivals from me if you hit that random button. Um, okay, let me see. I gotta catch up on chat. I'm sorry, guys. Eric's doing the same, only player. Nice, Eric. I, I, it's so much, well, there is, there's a place how do I put this? Let me let me let me think about this. Um, so I do have planes, my own fleet planes. Some of my own fleet planes are still going to like non-player destinations because like some planes you just can't help it, right? That's the only place it can go to. And I also have some of my planes going to um, where I have them going to to on a random contract to playable airports. So. I still recommend doing that because if you're working with other players and you don't have <clears throat> and you don't have an unlimited amount of contracts like I do, then having those random contracts, you know, to playable airports is very beneficial because they don't cost you money to redeem. You know, if you have a, a, a new plane in your fleet, which I'll do right now so I can show you guys, we're going to redeem this 738M here at Bari and then we're going to clear it to land. Oh, 
let's clear it to land we're gonna park it over here so we got the 738m um b38m excuse me that's a brand new plane and when you're sending it to a, a playable airport if you send it to an, an, a not a uh, a random connection it doesn't cost you any wallers whereas like all the other non-playable airports they'll cost you wallers so I still think it's a good idea to do that with a couple of your planes so that way if you have people who are working um, who you have contracts with and they don't send you planes back or they don't play daily or they don't play as often as you wish then at least you still have some planes to handle so that's still a good idea um, and if you are a new player I would still handle the player, uh, the non-player planes. I would still 100% handle those non-player planes. Maybe until you reach like level 20 or so. After level 20, then you uh, you might want to consider doing only player planes. But my main point here is I'm trying to build up my fleet again. Um, I'm trying to redeem all those old, all those planes that I had before 2.0. And you, your guys, you guys are about to see a ton of contracts going out from me to you. Um, in the Fat Airlines Discord, so I'm, I'm looking. I'm gonna be looking for your posts, guys. You could do player only if you're a famous Adam. You're gonna get famous, man. Just keep keep playing the game. Um, there's people here who uh, start. Uh, even me. Well, I started off. Nobody wanted to do a contract with me, and then over some time, we got some. We I got some contracts complete with some other with other players. And uh, then more and more people wanted to, you know, do contracts with me, even before, you know, my YouTube channel, of course, like, of course, with the YouTube and the Twitch, of course, people want to do contracts with me, right? But that's not the point. It's like, once I started doing more and more connections and contracts with other players in the Discord, then they became more familiar with me and then they wanted to do contracts with me. Um, that's the whole thing is, you know, some players, they really want to get their planes back daily, regularly, right? So if you're a brand new player, they don't know how reliable you are, you know? And then there's some people who will quit, who, who go, who will quit without telling anybody, right? So they'll just stop playing the game. And then uh, you just don't see like, they don't, you don't see your planes back for months. Um, I have a few contracts with people who have quit. Uh, I keep those contracts open for now because I'm not struggling for contract capacity. But once I do start struggling for contract capacity, I'm going to have to keep track to see who's sending me planes, who's not, um, who's returning my planes and who, who who is not. That way I can make sure we're getting the people who are playing their contracts. But yeah, I'm sure one day you'll, you'll get more, more and more planes. Pats, Woa Gaming said, Fat, you can cop, you could kidnap my plane for Sydney. Nice. Thank you for letting me know, bro. That's exciting because... Uh, Eventually, I'm going to want to start, you know, holding some planes so that way I can quickly level up. You got to go back. We're going to go back to um, Bari. I mean, to LHR. Luke Stupers has to go. See ya, man. Elio, David Elio has 40 LAI planes banked. Nice. Yeah, I was going to do that. But I'd much rather have uh, my own planes banked instead. I'll check your new livery, Mike. Alright, I just want to wait for this Concord. Oh, there we go. I think this is going to Hammy, right? Yep. Hammy sees this Concord like three times a... Uh, oh, maybe two times a week. <laughs> Should probably get Hammy a better Concord. Oh, let's roll these contracts. Yeah, Bari, I don't play really often at all. Uh, I am going to play some Bari later today. But let's go to LHR. And I do want to bring up the Discord. Because um, one other thing. One other thing that I wanted to talk about. And let you guys all know. Is about the Fat Airlines call sign competition. So... You guys are familiar. We last had a Fat Airlines call sign competition back in 2022, and uh, we're we're back and we're doing another call sign competition now. So it's 
the the call sign competition is in the Fat Airlines Discord. You need to join the Fat Airlines Discord in order to 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 compete. And uh, we have a special channel called the Call Sign Competition 2024. And you need to submit all your your call signs by April 20th. Um, and your own you can only do four call pictures four of your plants total um, the entries and your screenshots they need to be taken from your airport with up-to-date UI I have an example in here so that way you guys could see no image editing of any kind will be tolerated so no cropping no filters no manipulation no uh, no co co composition co whatever um, and uh, we also have a discussion channel, so that way if you guys have a funny call sign or you wanna talk about something, we have a, a discussion channel for the call sign competition. And then we also have prizes. So we're gonna have actually three brackets. I probably should put the bracket up front, but uh, we have three brackets. One that's LHR only, you'll see it down here. We got one that's in Leipzig, Washington, San, and St. Martin. And then the third bracket is Bari, Prague, Nagoya, and Muscat. Um, these three brackets are each going to have three winners. So we have a total of nine winners and the first place for each bracket will get three months of Fat Airlines membership on the platform of choice. So that's YouTube or Twitch um, and VIP access on the Discord. Uh, second place will get one month of Fat Airlines membership plus VIP and uh, third place will get one month of VIP on Discord. Um, VIPs essentially you get access to a vip chat and you also get access to a vip contract board which is the very first place i go uh, whenever i'm looking for a contract and if somebody's looking for a contract and you're a vip you make a post there and i do my best to respond as soon as possible thank you guys for the support uh, so on april 27th we're gonna be uh doing a, a tournament style bracket which will be created by me and, and some of the volunteers and there's going to be multiple brackets and multiple winners um, and you can only win one prize so if but if for some somehow you come in the first in all three brackets or something then we'll talk about something right we'll see what we can do that's impressive um, but you can only win one prize so if you come in first in one bracket and then you come in third in another then you're only going to get the first place prize and then whoever is next to uh, in lines so whether that's fourth place or fifth place Whoever's next eligible person will then win that third place prize. Essentially, I want to have nine total winners. Um, I, I just don't, I, I want to have nine individual winners. I just don't want to have nine winners, you know? So uh, that's that's the call sign competition. Um, if you guys don't know what a call sign is, when you buy a new fleet plane, each of your planes are assigned a call sign. Um, let's, we're, gonna, we're trying to get into LHR right now and I can show you. So. You see, you got my Concord over here. Your call sign is this right here, right after the airport that it's going to, you'll have your call sign. Um, all the London Heathrow ones start with the letter G and then a dash, right? So this call sign is G Y V J. And oh, let me show you what a good screenshot looks like. So that way y'all know. Like that, let's scroll up. Here, take me to the top, take me to the top. All right, I just gotta scroll manually. That's whack. Maybe I should pin this. Um, and I'm going to hide my, my overlay. So you can see everything. All right, this is a screenshot here. And with this screenshot, um, you'll see you got the airport on the top. You got your air, your airplane right here on the card. And you also have your airplane in the, in the screenshot. That's, both of those things are important. You also have the version number on the bottom left, your name, the airport, and the, and the weather. And then everything else is also in this screenshot uh, with no, no alterations, nothing like that. So that is the example of a good screenshot. Um, I've seen a few people crop out, you know, just to have the, the playing card in there or crop out different parts of the, of the, of the UI. And that is not allowed. You know, right now, all of your screenshots need to have version 2.2.6 or higher. Um, I know some people, I'm still running on 2.2.6. If you look over here, um, you see right down here, um, this is my game right now. I'm on 2.2.6. 
Um, so we're still accepting entries with that version number. Um, you can also um, enter with 2.2.7, that's fine. Um, but if I see anything after today, that's 2.2.5 or older, you will not be entered. You need to have an updated game. Um, and World of Airports is still letting me play 2.6, so I'm gonna keep, keep it allowed. But, uh, all right, cool. I gotta catch up on chat, sorry guys. Rollout's going offline, nice. Bro, so I, I think we got contracts way over two years now, nice. Yeah, that's, that's the cool thing too, it's like, actually, I have a few people who I have contracts, I've had contracts with like for three, two or three years already, and uh, I notice I notice when your guys planes are gone that's another like cool thing is like I don't know it, it, if I don't see your plane for a while then I start to get like worried about you not like worried but like I think about you and I'm like I hope they're doing all right there's somebody who's I haven't seen their planes in like two or three weeks now and they usually send me planes every day so I'm wondering if they're like on vacation or like if something happened to them. Um, I've been meaning to send them a DM, but I keep forgetting. But uh, that's one of the cool things about contracts too. It's like, even though I don't talk to you uh, every single day, um, it's very possible that I, I, I'm still like kind of paying attention to what's going on. YouTube don't like numbers, interesting. Did you know there's Orca livery in 789 and Special 2 livery? Yeah, I think I have a video coming out on that soon. So that's gonna be cool. Oh, my trash can fell over. Has anyone heard about 2.3 or anything? We haven't heard about like a, a release date for that yet. What we have heard is um, that 2.3 should include the taxi updates that were talked about in DevBlog 19, and 2.3 should also have, um, well, I don't know if this has been confirmed yet, but I think the latest rumor is that 2.3 will also have the, the A320 upgrades and the new planes, you know, the A321, uh, the A318, and uh, some of the other new planes. But we don't have, um, we don't have a timeline on that yet. Feeling is mutual, especially with Fat Airlines. That's funny, Hammy. Yo, what's up, Alan Justine? Nice to see you. But, uh, yeah, they've been kind of quiet on... Let me, let's actually check Instagram. Sometimes, I, I've noticed sometimes on, like, stream days, they'll end up, like, posting something. Um, so we'll check their Instagram real quick. Yes, yeah, so this is one week ago where this they haven't really even told us like how soon. It says, you know, they they finished painting the windows, the exits, other small details, and then they have to do hundreds of generic liveries and custom liveries as well. So that was a week ago. Maybe, uh, you know, this was two weeks ago where they gave us... Uh, a321 updates you know we have five weeks ago where they kind of introduced right the these updates where they introduced the a318 a319 a320 a321 and the neo versions so we got some time to go and how long has it been since sydney 14 weeks <laughs> <laughs> so I know a lot of us are, are are excited for it, but uh, you know one of the things here you know that they 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 did put is good things take time. So at least we have something to look forward to. We know what the next airport. We know that they're working on it, um, and I know the A320 and the A319 update is just a, a huge update because they have so many liveries they need to work on. So that is what's happening with the A320. They are tight-lipped more than any other update. I wonder why. Um, I'm wondering why. There's gotta be a reason, right? 
and then also like uh, their post is slowed slow down on Instagram so it could be just exciting you know something exciting is happening soon it could be that also well sorry I also forgot that they're working on the taxi path updates right and uh, they said that was complicated they had to rebuild it from the ground up so luckily we're still getting bug fixes right because last time they had to build something from the ground up um, well actually no the last time was the tower manager which was a huge success um, I, I don't know anybody who doesn't like the tower managers um, one because it's optional right so if you don't like it don't use it two because it, it's not it doesn't even cost a lot of silver planes um, and then they gave us three options to use as far as speed I have a video on that too where you can look to see what the speed um, what six percent increase looks like versus zero two and four but uh so for those of you who don't have silver planes you could use the two percent increase but for those of us who have a, a ton of silver planes use the six percent and save you know save those precious seconds um but yeah so but yeah they, they've been working on the tower update which was uh which was they built that from the ground up right um and then they have the ref the i was referencing the 2.0 update where they rebuilt the entire game from the ground up and it took them a couple it took them like a year and a half to do um which i'm glad they did uh oh okay i'm glad they did because 2.0 is a lot of fun you know granted they keep adding more and more features which makes it even more fun you know the tower manager was such a a, a huge addition that i i appreciate the most because it really makes it so i don't have to you can play the way you want to play if you want to if you want to just focus on playing you know um you know handling planes and, and doing things manually you can still do that and then you can save your silver planes you could save your wallers by not by just handling the planes and not using a ramp agent but if you want to you know kind of play more casually or just kind of play in the background then you can go ahead and activate your tower managers, activate the ramp agents on your individual planes, and uh, essentially have the game play in the background. Uh, the game still needs to be in front of your screen, right? It still needs to be in the front, but you don't have to be actively clicking everything in order to, to handle a plane. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then, you know, right now we're waiting on the tower, uh, sorry, the taxi update. Taxi update informations on on the World Airports forum, um, and it's on Dev Blog 19. So Dev Blog 19, they talk about this update, and um, they're developing a brand new taxiway system from the ground up. It's about revolution revolutionizing how traffic flows at airports. Um, they're introducing features like hold position commands and uh, the commands will give you more control and make managing your airport's ground traffic an engaging part of air gameplay um, it's going to enhance tower controllers decisions making the sim more realistic and immersive and then they talk about the current state of taxiing and how hard it is uh, to how hard it is to program all that stuff and uh, th they're also looking forward to the feedback so We'll see. Maybe I can do like a beta stream. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, you know, uh, I, I uh, the developers want me to, you know, stream a beta. I'm happy to test it. I'm happy to stream it. I'm happy to do whatever the developers want me to do. And I'm sure you guys would love to see it too. And then that way you guys could provide feedback as well. Um, and it, it, sometimes it's easier to provide feedback before the release, right? So that way they can keep updating it versus when the game's out and then you got a, a million people uh, complaining about a certain feature how something's not working and you know some people are just not well I get it right some people are just not understanding of bugs um, but like when you have a released product I, I get that so we'll see um, I haven't heard any news though so other than what they've posted on Instagram and on th that dev blog uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing more oh! Oh, bless me. Yo, what's up, Alan? What's up, Plane? What's up, Armando? 
I'm struggling for silver planes to wondering what to do with them. Uh, is that where you're at, Juicy? Nice. That's a that's a good state to be in because essentially, like I first like every, all of us start off at the point where it's like your first goal is to unlock is to purchase 10, 10 gold planes using ten thousand silver planes. That is the only thing you should be spending your silver planes on if you don't have more than 10,000 silver planes. You should only be spending silver planes on getting 10 gold planes. That is my strong opinion. Um, once you reach like 20,000 silver planes a week, um, then you can start considering also purchasing the one. But then once you start making like 50 or more, you know, 50,000 silver planes or more every single week, then you might want to consider, you know, buying the contract capacity for silver planes. Um, and then you also have handling crew, which is available. Um, I, I really only purchased these handling crew at like Innsbruck, Bari, sometimes Prague, and definitely Leipzig. I only purchased, purchased, them, uh, purchased them there uh, because that's where I just don't have, you simply don't have enough handling crew to handle all the planes at one time. And even with purchasing, purchasing them, you still don't have enough handling crew to handle all your planes at one time. Um, especially if you have a bunch, a bunch of X, L, or, or M planes. Mike doesn't use the tower manager at Innsbruck. Nice. I use only the approach manager at Innsbruck, but that's because um, I, I very much, I often forget to like land planes. Another thing that we're going to be doing, I'm going to give away this plane on the Fat Airlines Discord as well. This is another, I'm going to give away some DH-64s. We're going to be giving away Concords. Right now, we have a giveaway going on for the A-124 to your your Washington. Um, that's happening right now on the Fat Airlines Discord. And uh, it's free. You know, all you got to do is join the Discord and then hit the button to enter the giveaway. You know, we had uh, Hidden... Hidden created the bot for us. Hidden plays World of Airports too. And uh, Hidden helped us create that bot with the giveaway. Eventually we'll have giveaways. Uh, we'll let other people do more giveaways. We just keep finding a few bugs here and there. So we're just trying to fix those bugs before we open up uh, that bot for everybody to do their own giveaway as well. Wow, look at all of these planes. Um, we got a noble slope with a few planes. We got Global Express XRS. Catalin, uh, Unknowable Slope, Gianmarco Bruno, uh, Leo Aviations, Armando, who's here in chat, David Elio, all right. Thank you, guys. Um, let me buy a couple planes, too, before you guys start loading up my uh, my contracts. You know what I'm saying? We're going to buy some L planes. I'm going to look in, uh, like I said before earlier, I'm going to look in the Fat Airlines Discord for contracts. I just bought a Snow White plane. That was my first time buying Snow White on that. Um, you guys see that before though? That was weird. Uh, a pop up appeared for zero gold planes that I had to pay. I missed it. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I don't. I don't even have Snow White unlocked. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny to me. We got the 744 we're gonna buy um, and I'll buy some medium planes too because the whole idea of me not doing player contracts is because I want to do more um, more fleet planes as well I like I like having my fleet planes the fleet planes make me so much money and now with all these concords that I'm gonna be buying and that I'm gonna have to be maintaining um, I need to make sure I have wallers to afford to, to send them over to you. Yo, what's up gamer? You been buying handling crew at Leipzig? Yeah, it's such a desert of, of handling crew. You got that right, man. Uh, that's like the only place, like the main place I'll buy extra handling crew. Um. Nah, don't say that about hidden, bro. Hidden spots are more broken than the 737 Max. Nah, um, hidden spots are not that broken. Just small little things. That's why we bug test them, you know? 
I just decided because I asked the volunteers to help me with bug testing and uh, the volunteers didn't really step up. So I was like, all right, I can't be waiting for these people. So I'm just going to start, you know, using these giveaways um, only me. That way I know what's working, and what's not. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to blame the volunteers on this one. <laughs> Look in your contracts, fat people trying to send you contracts. I know now we're at 400, so I had 95 free slots to start this stream, and now I have 76 free slots. So if you guys want to keep sending me contracts, I, I am open for business. Um, and ideally, what I would I, I, what would be best is if it's an airport that you need to level up on, because um, that's a that's a good way for you to send me planes if you need to level up on your airport. Because, uh, how do I word this? Because I play LHR daily. All right, we're gonna switch airports though in a few minutes. Um, I don't know why this airport's not filling up. Let me switch my point of, my point of view, here we go. You see here, the 752 going to St. Martin, making me 2,663. Look at, look at this contract total. 144,000. I think this is on a repeat contract though. Yeah. This is on a, on a, a random contract from London Heathrow to St. Martin. The contract total is 144,356. Uh, and the contract total stays the same as long as you don't cancel the contract. Uh, and if you keep extending it, the contract total will stay, will stay active. But, uh, yeah, the selling value of this plane is 51000 So I think I sent this plane to a large check already. Um, it's very possible I might have, or I'm going to have to soon. Actually, I'm going to have to soon because this is why this is at 184 This is at 84 So that means in about two more you know, contracts, um, this is going to have to go to, to large check. But it's already made me 144 So And this plane costs, what, 110 So it's made me uh, 34000 extra. And then if I wanted to sell this plane a on top of the money it's already made me, I would make an extra 51,000. So that's, in my head, that's 80,000 80, of, of profit from one single plane. And then, you know, you count all my other planes on top of that, which is more than 10, more than 20, um, and I'm making millions of profit. You offered to do some giveaways. Yes, you did. You're right. You're right. But you're a mod. You're not a volunteer. <laughs> well, I guess mods are volunteers. But, but mods are, are, are different. <laughs> We're going to let the mods do giveaways very soon. Uh, very, very soon. I'm sure Mike and Hammy are going to be happy to hear that. Um, by the way, I, I am going to be looking for more mods very soon in the Fat Airlines Discord. I forget what the command is in the Discord. I think it might be a uh, slash apply. I think slash apply is the command if you want to apply to be a, a moderator in Fat Airlines. Um, on the, and if you're a moderator, on, you have to be on Discord. That's the first requirement. Um, you have to be on Discord. Uh, but like, you don't have to be on Twitch or, or YouTube. I would prefer one. You Well, actually, you need to be available on Twitch or available on YouTube. Ideally, it's both, but I understand not everybody can do both. Um, oh, snap. Look at this, a Concorde. That gets hearted right away. Floating fighter, nice. So yeah, if you guys are interested in applying for a moderator, uh, looking forward to seeing your applications. Just be on Discord, because that's where you get the application link. And then, uh, we ask you for your YouTube link and we ask you for your, your Twitch link as well. And, uh, oh, Flamingo Express. Nice. Flamingo, uh, it's weird not seeing a Concord coming from you. Not, I'm joking, but that's funny. I have like, I can't, well, Flamingo has some amazing call signs on their Concords. Um, I want to wait for them to land, but like, I'm pretty impressed. We can even go, actually, let's go to the Discord, right? And uh, 
I can show you, we'll, we'll, we'll click on a few of these. Oh, here, here's Flamingo, because it's Concords, right? So look, we got Duck <laughs> on a Concord. Can you believe that? Um, and then, so look at that, those are some pretty cool call signs. We got uh, a G Nub, <laughs> which I thought was kind of funny. Um, over here, I think we have Doggy from Mert. <laughs> really cool one. Um, and don't be don't be like this demotivated if I skipped over yours. Um, I'm just picking out a few ones. Led led that led Nasek with uh, G O M G. O M G seems to be a, a a fairly common call sign. Surprisingly, um, you got USB. That's a, that's a new one I just just posted recently. That's pretty cool. So yeah, just a. Uh, a couple call signs in there. Flamingo has some funny ones. No redeeming fat coins today. Yeah, that's why we're playing on uh, the, my main account, the Fat Recon. I was thinking about streaming on Fat Airlines today, um, especially since I know uh, you guys haven't seen Fat Airlines on stream in like months, like maybe two or three months. Um, so I was thinking about it, but then I decided let's uh let's let's do con let's do uh my main account and let's do some contracts. All right, guys, don't flamingo and like uh, some other guys, you know, you don't have to spam me with contracts. Also, look at the Discord and see who else is looking for contracts too. I like to say, you know, you want to try to send, you know, some new players, one or two planes. Keep track to see how often they play. You know, Adam Cack was here in the chat earlier. It was like, I wish I was famous because then I get a lot of planes. And, uh, you know, that's what we want. We want play people like him to get planes so that way one day they can get that reputation in the community and be, be famous, you know, get all those contracts um, and get a bunch of silver planes as well and XP. So... Thank you for all the contracts. Like, don't get me wrong. I really appreciate them because it makes the game fun. You know, having planes to handle. But also, let's make the game fun for some new players too. Um, cool. So thank you guys. I appreciate it. And don't, you know, don't forget about the little guys is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Tropical Aviation. What's up, man? You love my video? Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I hope uh, got, we got more coming out in the next couple of weeks. Um... Then I think the second half of April, I don't really have any videos scheduled just yet. So I need to make a few more. Um, we might make some some parts of this video um, into a, into or some parts of this stream into a video. We usually make our Twitch streams, por portions of that into videos. So uh, I invite you guys, you know, if uh, we do streams every Saturday. And uh, the first Saturday of the month, we do a stream on YouTube. So that's today, right? Today's the first Saturday of April. And then uh, all the other Saturdays, we do streams on Twitch. We've also recently started doing Discord streams, which is like um, essentially during the day where I, you know, I, I, I chat with you guys, but sometimes I, I disappear or sometimes I go on mute. Um, so because it's like it's usually during the day, but uh, the Discord streams are, are something that's happening. Um, Twitch streams, of course, are, are, are really, really fun. We have stream avatars, we have drops, we have basketball, we have a uh, battle royale. Uh, so come check us out on Twitch. Uh, really love to have you there. It's a, it's a great time. I know I can't uh, I miss some chats here on YouTube, but I try not to miss chats on Twitch at all. Um, you know, YouTube is a little bit different because YouTube, uh, YouTube will feed this video to other to new people. For, for years, you know, so many, many people will watch this video for years, uh, for, for days, months, weeks to come, sometimes years. I think some of my older streams still get views today. So it's very important for me, uh, to me, to make sure that I'm talking to the person who's watching the video and not necessarily always the chat. I'll talk to you guys in chat too, because you guys are here, but uh, yeah, Twitch, I'm always talking to you guys in chat. I'm also talk, you know, sometimes I talk a long time too. Hammy said music to my ears, nice. I'm glad I'm glad you're excited. Neon's demotivated now. Oof. 
<laughs> Oof. Sorry, bro. What's up, Leo? Hammy spent gold planes buying some colors. Nice. I'm excited to see your new colors. Neon got famous with David. Nice. <laughs> yeah, man. See, Neon, Neon, there you go. Neon with the, with the testimonial. <laughs> All you gotta do, you know, Eventually, you know, one of these, one of, once one of the players who are like super active, like whether it's me, whether it's Hammy, David, Freeze Man, um, you know, uh, Mike, uh, who else? I'm missing names, but uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of great players out there who play on the regular. There's some players who play more regular than me, so that's why like I don't want all the contracts, man, because. Sometimes I take a break from World Airports too. Although my breaks are only like one or two days, but still, like, I gotta, I gotta, you know, I'm human too. I need to take a break from video games. I need to like kind of, you know, ground myself. You know, just relax, not worry about World Airports because sometimes it, it feel it can for me at least it can feel like a job. Um, and when things, you know, especially when a game starts to feel like a job, it's like, all right, I need to take a break so I can ha have fun playing again. So, uh, yeah, easy is another one. You won seven planes from Fat this last week, yeah. <laughs> we, we were doing giveaways on our Discord stream. Um, we do giveaways as well on, on uh, Twitch streams, but we haven't really done too many of my planes to you because on the Twitch stream we do my... my my third account, yeah, my third account, which is a stream only account. Nice, you got a car? Congrats. Um your A388 is on the way. Nice. Let's see what let's see the radar. So we got this coming back, which is on a random contract. We got Meek Raven, a bronze realm coming in from Nagoya in six minutes. Nice. Um Look at this, Flamingo sending I egg in, which is coming in 10 minutes. Nice. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Some some great call signs. Oh, there's another plane right there. I know. <laughs> and the, the sad part about the call sign competition, I think, for some of you guys, is that uh, you can only enter four planes. So it's tough, right? Because you can only enter four planes. We have three brackets. So you don't have to enter every single bracket, but I would recommend entering one plane for each of those brackets. Um, let me show you. Yeah, I would recommend entering one plane for each of these brackets. And then of the fourth plane that you enter is just one that's also really good. Um, that's what I would recommend. But then again, I'm not, I'm not participating. I'm not competing. Um, I am going to take some of these call signs and post them on Instagram to kind of get an idea of which ones are received the best, which ones are, are most, which ones like are liked the best. But uh, yeah, we're going to, we're going to be sharing some of them to kind of pick it up. Yeah. Leo, I didn't see your plane, man. It must not be coming in very soon. Did it just leave? Is it over here? All my planes coming back from from Washington. Coming from Aria May. This one also Aria May. Yep. <laughs> John Carlo. John Marco. Nice. Where's your plane, bro? There's an A three fifty nine. There it is, Leo. Two hours and thirty five minutes. I found you, brother. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Snow Yak? Nice to see you. You're thinking how SF34 can make 500? It was BCS1. Oh, <laughs> yeah. There's no way SF34. That's another thing is that um, I don't, I don't really use the SF34 too much. Um, although in every airport, I like to have at least one of every plane. But there is one plane that I don't have in every airport. And some of you guys know which plane that is. 
Did, did I accept your A343? I, I think, yeah, I accepted all, all the requests that came in so far. But in about five minutes, we're going to switch airports and we're going to go to uh, Leipzig. So that way people who are playing at Prague can kind of send planes uh, quickly. Actually, let's make it 15 minutes. As we got a Concorde coming my way from Flamingo, two of them. Coming over from, from Bari in like six minutes now. Uh, you know, that's not too far. 30 minutes is not too bad, but and then we got Meek Raven coming in three minutes. This is coming back. Um, uh, that's coming back. So yeah, we'll give it an, another few minutes. Plus we got all these other, we have 41 planes here still waiting to land or taxiing to their gate. The Neo line is that, I, I don't know if that's how you say it. I'm sorry if I, I butchered it, but still accept more plane. Yes. Yes, I am. Um, yes, I am. What's up, the TQ? What's up, man? Luke said, did I miss anything? We were just talking about the call sign competition. We're talking about um, fleet planes and why I'm focused on b building more fleet planes. Uh, like, even look at this, right? 10,000 wallers for one flight from LHR to St. Martin. And then the total contract is half a million. So definitely way more than that plane cost. And I haven't even hit large check yet. I'm not near large check. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is once this plane reaches or has to go through large check maintenance, I will probably sell this plane and just buy another one um, instead of paying large check. I'm trying out a couple things. I'm trying. Um, I'm trying to like I think it makes sense to sell the plane instead of going to large check because large check is so expensive um, it's actually usually more expensive than the selling value of the plane so at that point I think I much rather just take my profits sell the plane and buy a new plane and start from zero again but I'm also trying out with a few planes to see what the, if I do the large check, how does that affect the selling value? And if I hit large check again, how does that look? So I, I'm kind of keeping an eye out on that a lot more than I have been in the past. Yo, what's up, Napas? Oh, we got that. Mm, yeah, wow, Prague livery uh, a couple days ago. Nice. I didn't even notice. DHC6. Yeah, we don't talk about that plane. <laughs> we don't talk about that plane. <laughs> Napus is level 65 in LHR. Nice. Keep getting those contracts, man. At that at that level, you want to do a lot more. Well, in my opinion, you probably should do a lot more player contracts, especially with some active players, because uh, these contracts, like look at this A359, 124 XP. Granted, at like level 80, you need a thou like 1100, 1100 XP. So that's like 11 of these contracts, but uh, it's still a lot better than working on some of the non-player contracts. Unless you've been working on those non-player contracts since the game, you know, since uh, you've been early levels, then some of those contracts might get you some good rewards because you might be at the 10 handlings right by now. Can I send the A350 back to your Bari? Um, for the most part, I will send, I will extend contracts with almost everybody. There's only a couple reasons um, why I won't extend the contract. And that's if I really noticed that you were a bad contract partner, um, which is not, not, well, I wouldn't say you were a bad contract partner. I would say that contract to you at that airport was just a bad contract. So in that case, I might not renew it, but for the most part, I'm always renewing it. Um, you know, the, uh, the other time I might not renew it is if I'm selling the plane because it's going to uh, large maintenance. I'm selling the plane before it goes to large maintenance. But if, if you got a plane and it went all the way to large maintenance, then we've got a lot of contracts in and uh, you're, you're pretty set as it, as it is. Do I play San Diego? Yeah, I play San Diego like uh, three or four times a week. Maybe sometimes more. What's up, Merp? Nice to see you. 
What's the L best L plane besides the triple seven and the 747? Need variety in my fleet. Yeah, 77W, definitely one of the best. I like the 789, because um, it can still kind of go to all the destinations. Um, the 8306 is pretty solid because of the price, right? So if you're at a brand new airport, let's say we're at Sydney, I don't know, I don't know what destinations an A306 can go from Sydney, like if it can go to other players, but it might, it's gonna be, it'll probably be one of my first L planes that I purchase at Sydney because it's such a low price, right? We go into a fleet, we go to configure and buy, we go to uh, change airplane, we click the L plane A306. 195,000 so it's gonna be a lot easier for like as your first L plane on a brand new airport especially like at Bari where it's it's tough to make a hundred thousand um, your first hundred thousand and then you have to double that and then let alone if you only have the, the 77 W which costs 375 you're gonna be waiting for a long time to make that money right but once you start building up more fleet planes, they make you more money, and then you're gonna have you're gonna be able to easily purchase some of the L and X planes. Um, you know, like I bought like four planes I think today here at LHR, and it was no problem for me because I'm making easily at least like uh, if I'm playing LHR, I'm making like five hundred thousand a day um, in Wallers. So that is a good amount, but. I also have to remember, look at, I have one Concord, uh, two Concords, three, four, okay, five Concords, I have five Concords here at LHR. Now, hopefully they all reach maintenance at different times, right? Like. Hopefully I'm not hitting I'm not hitting uh, maintenance all at the same time for all five concords But if I do hit maintenance at the same time for all five concords, I need to have 500,000 wallers for maintenance in my in my airport Which I don't have right now So that is a little scary for me because the last thing I want to do is having a plane just sitting at the gate and not doing anything um Unless it's waiting for handling crew, then I can't do anything about it, right? But that's why I, I try to I try to make sure I have enough wallers for maintenance. Let alone all these other planes that are less, you know, less expensive maintenance. But still, it's still a cost. Yeah, we did get an earthquake yesterday. Um, it was kind of interesting because uh, the earthquake happened at like 10.20 a.m. here. Um, 10.23, I think it was. Um, and... At first, like my house is shaking, right? Um, and I'm thinking, cause it's the same, uh, my house was making the same noise as when like a low flying plane is like over the house. So my first reaction was to go outside to look at this low flying plane. And I'm like, cause uh, we got like a, a base somewhat nearby, a military base. Um, it's not like really close, but we are under flight path for landing every once in a while. So my first reaction was to go outside and look for this plane and I saw no planes. So then I opened up flight radar to see like why why am I, why am I hearing a plane um or what sounds like you know a plane flying low in my house and I don't see a plane. And there was like a helicopter like four miles away. I'm like, there's no way a helicopter four miles away is doing this kind of thing on my house. And then then it hit like oh that must have been like an earthquake. Um, so <laughs> that was kind of funny. Oh, bro, I'm not scared of DHC6. I just don't want to unlock it. <laughs> A320 is coming in a 2.3 remodel. Um, has that been shared publicly by the devs? I think the devs have said that to some people in private message or direct message, but I don't know if they've said that publicly. I know they have a ton of liveries to add. But they, and they also have to um, work on the taxi updates. So those two things are happening. But uh, I don't know if they said that publicly yet. And DMs are not public, you know? Um, you might make them public, but they're, I don't consider those that public information. Nopis is handling a plane, 787, nice. 
Leo is making four million a day at Nagoya. Nice. Yeah, Taiwan had a hit earthquake. I heard about that too. Copy searching for your house on flight radar. Yeah, <laughs> you have to go back to 10, 10, uh, 1023, right? Yeah, there were like no airplanes in the sky yesterday when that happened. So I got confused for a moment. Somebody was talking to me about the Orca livery on the 789. Yeah, man, look at look at this livery, man. It is so nice. I really like it. I'm glad they let us use it. I just wish they used the names again for the, the liveries. Yes, these. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, I just wish they used the names for the liveries again. You know, I miss having a name like special two. It's hard for me to remember, but Orca, easy for me to remember. You know, I I don't even know what special livery this is or, or premium livery or, or what it is. Uh, maybe it's a me problem, but I do miss having the names. And especially since like they could just all be named the same. I get why they have different names, right? Because you got you got basic, which costs the least. You got uh, what, premium, which costs more. And then you got Supreme which costs the most and then you got special which uh, is out of this world pricing, right? So I get that right right because it, it, it establishes the pricing tiers um, And like the basic liveries they, you don't need to have different names for each of those They're all just different variants on like the way the paint is, is structured But then you got waves you got triangles you got bird you got ninja you got turtle you got uh, raccoon um, and all like Raccoon is on the AT76 or was right, but now it's like special seven. I, I forget what it is because I can't remember. And then that's another thing too. Special one and special two on on one plane is different than special one and special two on another plane. So they should have names. They're not unified. Oh, Manichar, nice. Thanks for the A388. It's cool handling A388s. Um, it's even cooler handling your own A388. Cause like I don't have any A388s here right now. Do I? Like an A388 that you handle yourself is going to make you like ten to fifteen thousand dollars. Whereas an A388 that someone's sending you, you'll get like 1.3 thousand to like maybe 5 thousand dollars. Adam, you sold all your fleet planes at Prague? Why'd you do that? Do you not play in Prague? DQ said I have eight gold planes, 53,000 at bar issue. You get the E175 or save 10 silver planes. You get 10 gold planes to buy LHR. Um, I personally don't. If you're not buying gold planes with money, I probably wouldn't recommend unlocking uh, an airport unless you're bored. If you're bored, then you do you do what you gotta do to not get bored, right? But in general, I prefer using my gold planes to unlock things that you can't unlock for free, um, especially if you're not buying gold planes. So I would say unlock the E-175. That's a great plane. Um, and the cool thing is once you unlock it in one airport, then you unlock it in all the airports that are eligible to use that plane. It's a small plane, so all airports, right? Um, you just have to pay for it in Wallers in other airports, uh, but you don't have to pay gold planes again for it. So, and you know, with, with having an E-175 or any fleet plane, an E-175 is a small plane. But when it's in your fleet, it's going to make you as much money as a medium plane would, you know, that's coming in from a non-player. So that's going to be huge because you're going to you're you're not going to need, you know, five, six, seven or eight handling crew um, for an E-175. You're only going to need two or three, maybe four if you use a ramp agent. Right. So you're going to use half of the of the handling crew and still make the same amount of money in Wallers. So I, that's. That's pretty solid. Granted, I'd probably recommend you get a medium plane or a large plane first if you don't have any uh, large 
or medium planes unlocked um, because those planes are going to be a lot more useful for you than the E-175. Like you can't use an E-175 uh, for player contracts at Nagoya. Um, so you, you're only going to be able to use them for, you know, regular contracts, um, non-player destinations. I think all the other airports you can use an E-175 on a player contract though. Neon's heading out. See ya, dude. Yeah, I need to learn Spanish. Maybe, maybe I should try some Duolingo. <laughs> what do you? What apps do you guys use to like learn different languages? Do you guys use apps or you just go to school? ERJ9, I really, I really, by the way, I am in need of small planes to my LHR. I have so many L and X planes that um, if if I take a break from like directly paying attention to the game, um, I, I just can't handle all the L and X planes at one time, right? Because the handling crew, but I can handle small planes. So if you, I'm, I'm in need of small planes. Just don't feel bad just because it's a small plane to not, you know, be af to be afraid to send it my way. Send me small planes too. Why'd you get an event plane from Nice? Nice. Uh, I don't know. They're the ones who set up the events. <laughs> all these planes man i love i love getting all these planes and seeing all the players you know continuing to play adeline uses a uh, duolingo nice gotcha yeah i need to i want i want to i don't know if this is going to be something like i like me trying to lose weight where it's like i said it for years and i never actually did anything about it until like a few weeks ago i've been going to the gym lately so um that should help me lose weight right but uh that's another thing. Like, I want to learn Spanish, and I go I go to uh, Mexico for vacation. So I practice there a little bit, but then you know they start talking really fast, and then I have to think about what, what words I'm trying to use. So then I I just go back to English because it's a lot faster instead of trying to like search for the right word. Um, but I do I do end up practicing at in Mexico, but I need to like practice m more than just you know when I'm on vacation. Use Spanish and Italian, nice. Juicy said, can I have the DH-64 side seeing a special plane sitting idle? That one we're going to use in um, another plane contract giveaway. I might actually start that giveaway today. So that way we can uh, do more giveaways in general on the Discord. Wow, it's windy outside. So an AN-124 taking off from your house? Nice. Did I see the video? Was it a TikTok video? Because I don't I don't have TikTok. Man, TikTok forces you to log in on web, which I, I'm not gonna log into TikTok. I mean I guess I could log into the Fat Airlines TikTok, which abandoned. I've abandoned the Fat Airlines TikTok, Sorry, guys. Want to know a funny thing? So at school, you learned French for the past six years. You don't know anything, but you have 246 days on Duolingo. You learned Japanese. Nice. And <laughs> you know Japanese more than French. I mean, I think Duolingo does a good way of like kind of practicing, you know, like language, learning languages. Yeah, I, I'm th I need to, I need to practice. That's why. Nice, Nopas unlocked the St. Martin Premium Pass. That's good. 
Dude, it is tough to play St. Martin without the premium pass, though. I, I tried playing um, St. Martin without the premium pass, and I, I got to, like, level 15. And then I was like, you know what? This is tough. Like, because you're just waiting. Like, you got all these players sitting at the gates, waiting to be handled, but you just don't have the handling crew. And then also, you know, in the early levels, you don't have a lot of contract capacity, so you're still you're also sitting there waiting for planes to get back from their airport. Luckily, the airports are not too far away, so you're not waiting a long time, but you are still waiting. You have a 77 LF, nice. If you want to send it to my Leipzig, that'd be cool. Oh, it's just a video? Gotcha. I'll take a look. I've seen a couple TikTok videos in the self promo, so that's why I was like, I, I kind of assumed it was that. Nice, another finished connection. That's like one of the great parts about uh doing contracts with other players too is that like they all finish at different times so it's like you're i'm, I'm constantly getting silver planes and and xp you know now i'm not getting xp but i am getting silver planes look at this thirteen thousand six hundred and forty two dollars that's amazing is amazing this is going to meek raven of bronze realm still not near large check so it still has more money to go my friends asked you why you're not moving to check republic that's funny <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had a Czech beer or Czech car. I, dr I drive a Japanese car. <laughs> In account, you were very confused for a moment. What's up, Soroa? Yes, sir. Uh, come <laughs> Yeah, one, one day, I actually, you know what? You just kind of got me inspired. I need to have like some unlocks on my main, on my uh, Twitch for like forcing me to unlock the Comet or forcing me to unlock different planes, right? Like unlock the A388. Um, I know a lot of you guys been asking, waiting for that. <laughs> Let's see, where's... A is here. Whoops. You have tw no, you got 125 million at Nagoya, bro. Time to play another airport. And I <laughs> that Coke is the best. Not chemicals like American Coke, dude. American everything has all these chemicals in it. Like, you gotta be careful buying a bag of lettuce in America. <laughs> Leo, you got 125 million. I need to see that screenshot, bro, because I've seen I've seen like 10 million, I've seen like 20 million. I have not seen 125. That's that's impressive, bro. That is impressive. They don't sell, sell check cars in the US. I, I thought so. Yeah, I drive an Acura and a Honda. So two, two Japanese cars. I used to drive American cars, but it was a Pontiac and Pontiac is no longer making cars. They're no longer in business, I think. I really loved my Pontiac. It was like a, it was, it was the best. It was the best. 
You have 175,000 in St. Martin. Nice. I'm a. Uh, I'm grinding St. Martin, even though I think I'm almost max level, or I might be max level. I forget, but that don't matter because I'm grinding St. Martin so I can get a Concord. I really, really want to get a Concord at St. Martin. St. Martin's the only airport where I don't have a Concord. I have a oh, I have a Concord at Bari. I have a Concord at, at Prague, Washington, Nagoya, uh, San Diego, Muscat, Leipzig. Not, not, no Concord at St. Martin though. And then I got like five Concords here at LHR. So I, I'm, I'm really trying to grind uh, St. Martin so I can get a Concord unlocked. I'm also trying to get these Concords back to Flamingo. That's one of the things I always try to um, get people back their Concords as soon as possible. I can't always promise that I will, but I try my best. You drive a Japanese car is probably as American as a domestic car, yeah. <laughs> yeah, at this point, yeah. Oh, three minutes. Then we'll spend like a couple, like 45 minutes over at Leipzig next. Um, even though I just was hyping up St. Martin. Um, we'll spend a couple minutes at, at Leipzig, so if you guys are have contracts with me from your Prague, especially, it's gonna be that's gonna be a great time. Oh, let's. Going on. Oh, you're just taking a long time to get off the runway. You should cross. Excellent. Oh, yeah, I've just been grinding St. Martin. Um, really want to get a Concord there. I know, I know, wait, is it Saroa that has like over a million at, at St. Martin? I know there's a couple people here who have like a lot of money at, at St. Martin, which is kind of impressive. Um, very impressive, not kind of, it's impressive. And then what else? So, yeah, I bought. Um, I bought like 15 E-175s at St. Martin to kind of help my uh, operations. You know, I know it's like I'm spending money, but to make money. So I bought 15 E-175s and I gave them away to people in the Discord um, during one of my Discord streams um, that I did, I think like last Friday or last, oh no, no, it was this Tuesday, this past Tuesday. Um, I did a Discord stream and uh, gave, them, gave a lot of them away. So that was, that was a good time. You're happy that you have 14,000? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My chat froze. That's not good. Can I do an A388 giveaway? Um, we could do one in the Discord. Um, I just I, I, I have to figure out what airport it's going to come from. It's not going to be LHR. Uh, I need to make sure I have some money saved aside for maintenance. Yo, easy, you're in the path, Eric. Easy, you're in the path of the eclipse. Nice. I'm a. I'm interested. What's what's how that's gonna turn out? I hear a lot of people. You got millions of people traveling to see that. So I know. Uh, I was talking to one of my coworkers, and uh, like. He said he's he's not planning. He lives in the path, right? So he's not planning on leaving the house. But you gotta plan for traffic, man. It's it's like holiday travel is what what they're expecting essentially. Your last American car was a Pontiac, nice Grand Prix. Me too, man. That was that was my. Well, I had a, a 2004 Grand Prix though. It was, it was one of my it was my favorite car man I I uh, added a subwoofer into the car I upgraded the sound system um, it was really a blast to drive St. Martin Waller flexing <laughs> what you say by the way fat is 63 gold planes enough for the new update I want so, I want liveries for the new planes Probably not. I mean, um, I mean, let's let's look at the plane, the the BCS three, right? Let's go to offers, configure and buy. 
I forgot how much that co plane costs to unlock, but I have I don't have it unlocked on my two uh, counts, but I have it unlocked here. So you got basic. If you want basic, this costs eight eight gold planes, right? If you want premium, sixteen. Supreme is twenty four. So let's say the eight the new planes cost exactly the same as the BCS one and three, um, which it probably would cost maybe a little more for some of them and a little less for like the A318 because I think those that's a smaller plane than uh, the BCS-1. So let's say you want the A321. Um, you're probably going to need a little bit more. You're going to need gold planes to unlock it, uh, which would cost you about, what, 30 gold planes. And then another, you know, 15 to 30 gold planes for delivery. And then... Uh, Yes, I mean that'd be enough for one plane 63 but I'm not sure if that'll be enough for all of, it definitely won't be enough for all the planes let alone if you want to unlock um, that airport Sydney the next airport uh, you didn't mention that but some people want to get Sydney some people want to get the pretty uh, the premium pass there too so uh, yeah just maybe I'm gonna try to unlock them all that way we, you guys can see what, what it looks like. I'm gonna get, have giveaways so we can send out those con, uh, contracts of that plane to, to people who wanna see them at their airport in their game. But uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be expensive, man. That's good. I mean, I'm okay with that because it's been a while since World, World of Airports was really introduced new planes into the game. Although I wish, I wish it wasn't so expensive, you know? Nice. You're not going anywhere, Eric. Easy. Love that. Mike is by 90%. Nice. Yeah, I was thinking about traveling to go see the, the Eclipse, but I'll just watch it online or something. Your spending intrusive thoughts kicked in. You're considering buying the Leipzig Premium Pass. Leipzig Premium Pass is another good one. Cause like I couldn't imagine trying to handle all those planes um, without the extra handling crew that you get from the premium pass. And then not only that, I don't know what level you are, Saroa, but at the later levels you get you get some nice fancy planes, right? You get the um, AN22, which is really a niche plane, but you get the A124, you get the A225, so. Those, both of those planes, oh, and you get the Beluga, the A3ST, you get the Beluga, so like all those planes are, those three planes are planes you cannot get normally in the game, so they're, they're very unique, very unique and cool to have. Excellent. All right, we're going to Leipzig now. Why does the B38M have a special livery for two gold planes? I think it's a it's a basic livery that's slightly different than all the other unified basic liveries. You want liveries with all the planes, Saroa? That's gonna be tough with only 83 gold planes. That's why I also wish, especially with all these new planes they're adding, I also wish there was like another, and I don't know if this, I think this is more of like a, a hardcore player, you know, a, a frequent player problem. But like for players who have like over 100,000 silver planes, um, I wish there was another option for redemptions, especially given how expensive, you know, planes are, are now, you know, 30 gold planes is not going to be enough to unlock a medium plane very soon. So it's like, I mean, we're going to like, give us a way to kind of play the game and be able to unlock it is my thought. But I know that's not, they also, the, dev the developers need to make money too, because it costs money to make a game. Not free, even though the game is free. Uh, I don't know. 
All I know is if, if I were if I were part of the team, I would put in another I would put in another option here, um, which lets you trade in a hundred thousand silver planes, and you would get um, like you would either get a hundred gold planes or like eighty gold planes or like ninety something so anywhere between seventy five and a hundred gold planes or a hundred thousand silver planes. A nice little quick turn in. Um, with a very, very, very long, not a very long cooldown, but a longish cooldown. Beluga can't go to any player contracts? I know, that's so sad. Do you have any tips for San Diego? You bought it? Nice. Um, for San Diego, you really want to um, handle small and medium planes. Uh, and then just be aware of like the, the paths that planes take. Small planes can get off a lot earlier than medium planes. Uh, medium planes can get off at like that second exit. Um, they can also get off at the third or fourth exit too. Same thing with small planes. So I would, you know, stands one, two, three, four, and five at San Diego. I would make those stands small only because that way your small planes can exit the runway a lot faster compared to some of the other ones. Compared to the... Uh, Compared to like medium planes, large planes, you're not you're, you're gonna want to get some large contracts at San Diego, but work on um, too many large contracts because you only have four passenger slots for large and X planes, and two cargo slots for large and X planes. That makes it really tough to kind of grind out those uh that airport with L planes. So you want to do medium planes with people from St. Martin or Washington. You want to do small planes with people from Washington, um, I think. And then, uh, or get your own planes to send that, you know, E-170s, E-175, um, what else? I think, I don't know if a CRJ-9 can make it anymore. I'm excited for that eclipse though. I am. No L planes landing? There's a Concord, nice. This is my Concord that goes on a random arrival to London Heathrow. What's my favorite passenger plane or cargo plane? I like uh I mean, it really depends on the airport, really. But the uh, 752 is still pretty solid, but it's starting to look outdated compared to like the newer models, especially. Um, uh, A19N is starting to get a place in my fleet, a large place into my fleet, because it has like some solid distance. And it's not like super expensive either. It's like 95,000, whereas before I think it was like 101. Um, you know, 752F is really my go-to cargo plane for mediums. And then for like large planes, you know, that's another question, right? Because medium and large planes are two different, two different planes. Medium planes are really made for short and like medium and sometimes long distance. But large planes are made for medium to long or, or extra lar lar long distance. So for the... the the L planes, I like. Um, I like the 77W, the 744. They both look pretty cool, and they get me some good money. Um, but I'm not really looking at profits intense in, intensely anymore. So far, all of my planes have really been profitable. Um, there's not been many planes at all that haven't been profitable. How can you level up Leipzig? Leipzig is tough, man. Because you're you're mostly getting when you're rolling contracts, you're probably mostly getting um, passenger contracts at first. Easy. Yeah, you see here, like I'm getting a, a passenger contract for a local contract. I got a passenger contract for regional, and I did get a, a cargo contract for international, which is cool. But at first, it's going to be tough at, at Leipzig, because. You're not going to have too many planes that are, you're going to be able to handle. And uh, you're going to have to expand your passenger terminals here. Um, 
you probably don't even want to buy too many the L and X passengers unless you have uh, contracts with other people who are sending you L and X planes. Uh, you really want to focus on probably unlocking a cargo plane for your fleet. Um, maybe start with the B four sixty three. B four sixty three F, because uh, I mean it's not making me a ton of money, but it's still making me just as much as a medium plane that is not in my fleet. So B four sixty three F is pretty solid when it comes to that. Um, getting a few of those is going to help you with you know kind of getting more wallers, unlocking more stands, um, and these stands over here. You know these three stands are are cargo stands. So you don't need to unlock a terminal either to unlock more stands, uh, more cargo stands. So, uh, and I think you start off actually with one cargo plane. So it's tough, especially at Leipzig. But once you start pick, having more and more of those cargo planes coming in, and if you decide to have cargo planes in your fleet, then it'll pick up. And then not only that, but the big, the, Premium pass, you know, the premium pass is very helpful. Once you start getting past level five, you get the extra handling crew. You get these free planes as well, which help you uh, with leveling up and getting more XP and wallers. You know, you don't have to pay a single dime, any wallers for this E170. That's gonna, that saves you what, 30,000, 30 something, maybe 40,000 wallers that you don't have to buy this plane. That's gonna be huge. And like I said earlier, um, these small planes make as much as medium planes uh, from non-players. From uh, medium planes that are not in your fleet. So whether it's a non-player or a player plane, um, small planes will make just as much as them you, in, in general. Then you get you know a, a 734F. I mean you do get a, a B463F, which is really cool. You get these contracts. That's when you want to expand to medium contracts, uh, medium stands. At your airport um, you don't have to really worry about large stands in your airport until like level yeah, 24 so like a little bit later and then at that point is when you can do more more of the L contracts with other players too but premium pass is really solid here Throws 200 XP from unlocking sand. Nice. I would say the San Diego Premium Pass is kind of like it's like the least hype um, for me because there is not as many silver planes given in that pass, and you don't really get like the, the, the a lot of the rewards until like later on in the pass, and then it takes so long to unlock regional. I don't know if that's like on purpose, like if that's actually how it works in like San Diego, but it is a, it is a lackluster premium pass for me. Go to San in just a second, uh, Saroa. We wanted to unlock Leipzig, but the reviews are not encouraging. Uh, Leipzig is more of like a seasoned player kind of airport, I would say. It, once you have it built up, it's real easy to just kind of keep it going and to uh, make money on it. Like, I got 7 million wallers easy, and I still have a bunch of planes I still need to transfer in here too. But starting it up is so slow, and it's like painfully slow almost. Yeah, I'm going to be getting rid of these contracts, these planes here, as soon as the contract is done. So, like, this Prime Air is at 5 out of 8. So, once I finish the 8 contracts, that's when I'm going to just cancel them and then replace replace them with some of my fleet planes. Either the ones that are have to transfer in still, which are a lot of them. You know, look, I got 3 E-175s. I got 2 B-463Fs. I got three 752Fs. I got three C-17s. What else do I have? Four 734Fs. 
got two A388s. <laughs> so I got I got some planes to to add. We're gonna add some handling crew here. Um, let's see. A request here. Oh, you, you want me to? Uh, let me. I can look at another device. Yeah, this should be fine. Let's see, do I got any incoming planes? Probably not. I really haven't handled enough planes to like go back and forth. Remember when we found out the contract situation was changing and we all unlocked all the routes we possibly could in the hopes that it would help us? Yeah, those transferred contracts are those, yep. And uh, Hemi had a good suggestion um, that was mentioned last week on stream on Twitch. And uh, it's, a, it's actually a pretty cool idea. It's uh, what, what Hemi's been doing and actually something that I'm gonna be doing too is just transferring the contract in, handling that plane once, then you get the Woapedia entry. So like I could transfer this one in and handle that plane once. Then if I don't have this plane in my Woapedia, it'll be added to my Woapedia. So I get to build up my Woapedia. And then I also get, I'm also gonna cancel the contract because it didn't cost me anything. It's not like when you roll a regional contract or an international contract, you have to pay for Wallers for them or even map contracts you have to pay Wallers for, right? So with these, you don't have to pay Wallers. So you just handle the plane once, get the Woapedia entry if you don't have it, get, you know, a little bit of silver planes, a little bit of XP, and then cancel the contract and boom, now it's gone and you don't have to worry about it and you got the Woapedia. What's up, Sven? So yeah, that's what I'm, I'm gonna copy what, what, uh, what well, Hammy said she was doing, they were doing. Did anybody else look to see if they added a train in here? Wasn't there a rumor that they were gonna add a train as like a random event? And I keep, I tap on this guy every once in a while too to see if like, come on, do something, you know? <laughs> Interesting idea. Yeah, right, isn't it? Especially if like, I'm not I'm not uh, a Woapedia chaser. Like, I don't really care too much about the Woapedia and my ranking there. Um, but it is a good way to kind of first get rid of all the transferred contracts and also build up your Woapedia. I know uh, I don't, one of my, my fears is that like one of these days they're gonna tell us or Hopefully they tell us, like even greater fears that they don't tell us. Like one of these days we're gonna get an update where all of a sudden all of our transferred planes are gonna be gone. Or they're gonna tell us, hey look, you need to transfer in all your planes cause uh, we're not gonna hold on to them anymore. <laughs> I, I feel like that's gonna happen one day. I have no reason to think why this has happened, but uh, other than my experience with some other games where they just don't let you bank things like that for a long period of time. It's, we've had a year, so. Ooh, AT forty six. Okay. Oh, 
why is a transfer option not available to every player? Um, that means you didn't have any contract. Like if you let, if you have transferred in here, that means you played World of Airports before 2.0 and you had fleet planes before 2.0. Now, if you go into contracts, you'll have con transferred here. If you had unlocked destinations before 2.0, um, this is where all your, your unlocked destinations and those unlocked planes will show up. So you can get you can transfer all these contracts in back from before 2.0 for free. Um, and like right here, you see some of the contracts you might already even have active already. If you didn't play before 2.0, then it's not gonna show up there. Um, same thing with St. Martin and LHR. There's no transferred option because nobody had those airports before 2.0. Um, so yeah, it's all about just making sure like the developers allowing us to keep our stuff uh, between 1.0 or 1.5 and 2.0 Rory Plane says Muscat's your favorite airport nice I like Muscat too um, I just don't like the taxi time sometimes but a lot of these airports are have long taxi times now too so I just I just turn on the, the tower managers and I come back five or ten minutes later and then I start handling all the planes a weird call sign Eric you did that too nice that's cool everyone's standing watching him at 12 a.m. well it's a uh, it's 1 p.m. over here so <laughs> thanks for thanks for being here at 12 a.m. bro that's nice You've got to go. Yeah, that's understandable. You have a good, uh, good rest. Hammy has a similar f f fear, and that's why I decided to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I've just played so many games, Hammy, that they, uh, they, they don't give you a lot of heads up. Where it's like, oh. Yeah, now you have to you have to redeem all your planes. And it's like I, I've had I've had that happen so many times in other games, like Destiny Two. I played Destiny Two, um, and then they they decide, oh, all of a sudden this one currency is completely out of date, and you don't have to you have to spend it now, or you're just gonna lose it. Um, and you could spend it on things that are still gonna be in the game. So I've seen that happen so many times in so many other games that it's like I don't I don't trust games to not do that. <laughs> um, all right, some uh, Saroa. Saroa was asking about the premium pass at San Diego. So here we go. Um, I, and I think what we're gonna do on Twitch the next couple of weeks is I probably go through each of the premium passes uh, for each of the airports. That way we have a video. We have a video for LHR and like kind of going over the airport. So I think I want to do that for every single airport in the game. So we'll probably be doing something like this um, soon on Twitch, just reviewing every single airport. But like, here's the premium pass at San Diego. San Diego's premium pass, that was a, a little, like not too exciting for me when um, I was leveling up. You know, it's a lot of wallers and like, I don't know. I much rather get us like I much rather get a DHC six, which I could sell for like ten thousand wallers, than getting these five thousand wallers. But uh, you know, then you get contracts on the free pass. Contracts are useful, um, especially when you're first starting or starting level up. Uh, but once you reach like level twenty, then I really stop using these contracts and I start using more player contracts because the levels are just so long that if you get a brand new contract, you have to start at one out of one handling. Um, it's just one XP doesn't really do it. Um, I much rather start with the 10 out of 10 handlings right off the bat. So then you get extra contract capacity, but you see how long you have to wait before you get like extra handling crew and extra contract capacity. It's just, it feels like such a larger gap here at San Diego than a, a lot of the other airports. At level 31, you reach regional and then you know, you get some planes, you get some liveries. It's really, it's always nice when you get some liveries for free, right? Um, then you finally get more handling crew. You get some gold, a gold plane. You get every airport, you get three gold planes for free on the free pass. 
you know, and at these later levels is when like the rewards really start getting more exciting at least because then you're starting to get you know the the larger planes and some planes that actually make make a difference um, you know you get 8,000 silver planes here at level 50 and then we're, we're going into the levels I haven't reached yet where you get more large planes as well um, you unlock Muscat at level 54 um, and then you get the levels that they added after the game after 2.0 release uh, where you get finally get more handling crew again and then at the last level you get 8,000 or the current currently the last level you get 8,000 silver planes so um, oh, and these, this BCS ones, they were added, I think, on the same, around the same time the BCS one was added into the game. So that's why you see those there. But uh, yeah, that's that's the the premium pass at at San Diego. Two dot three, no more backlog. Oh man, that would be so sad. Welcome back, Leo. Even if they gave us a heads up of one week with eight playable airports and one not five with all the contracts to be transferred with that many free contracts that's available. Yeah, that would take a while, right? So I was like, it's kind of why like, I don't want to cause fear or like panic or anything like that. It's just something that I'm doing and other people are also doing it sounds like just to kind of be safe. Transfer them in, that way you don't have anything to worry about. and then. That's another reason why I'm canceling all my uh, non-player contracts because I want to transfer in all of my, my my fleet planes from the previous you know version. So even here at San Diego, look, I, I transferred in quite a few, uh, but I still have seven B463Fs to transfer in. I, I like the B46, excuse me, I like the B463F at San Diego because I mean. Um, most of the times I'm at San Diego waiting for my large planes to be handled because I have so many large plane contracts. So by, by by having those B463Fs going to like those non-playable airports and just doing, you know, cargo runs, um, I'm still able to handle additional planes and I'm also able to uh, still utilize my handling crew. And while I'm waiting for all these L planes to be handled, I'm still making wallers, you know? Um, there's only so many small contracts I can get from Washington, and Washington is like a, a two-hour trip, um, at, or two or is it two or four-hour trip? I forget. It's a two-hour round trip to Washington, so it's a at the very fastest. You know, it'll take two hours, and I'm not spending two hours handling L planes. That's why I have a lot of those B463Fs to kind of help me with that. Um, where, what other planes do I have? A lot of these, oh, I still have a Concorde here and a DH-64. Can the DH-64 go to Washington? Let's find out. Then I might do a giveaway for that one too. If not, I'm going to be sad. Yes, it can. And it could go to St. Martin too. Nice. Very nice. So keep an eye out. We'll probably do a DH64 giveaway as well on Discord. Um, we have a call sign competition going on as well right now for next three weeks on or next two weeks, excuse me, on two on Discord. Transferring in planes is easier. It doesn't need a contract slot unless you assign it a contract. Yeah, that's true does eat a, a stand though actually no, no if you don't land it it doesn't eat a stand is it strange that they updated the 77w but we still have uh the old version of the 77 lf it's like one of the better cargo planes in the game how are these l planes looking parked five minutes Boarding complete. Nice. Yeah, guys. Any any last questions you have about World of Airports while y'all all while you all are here? Um, would I be willing to accept twenty seven B seven fifty twos? 
uh, I would maybe not 27, maybe like five or ten. <laughs> let's uh, let's let's spread the love across some other players too. Um, San Diego, I've been I'm still trying to you know level up here. I got 13 more levels to go, so we got some ways to go for leveling it up. But uh, yeah, I'm 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 usually down for player contracts just almost all the time. I just also I try to make it clear that it's like I, I'm not trying to hoard all the contracts. Um, I would you know people with like that many contracts. I would love to see, and and I think you you also you do contract. I'm not like talking to you specifically, but uh, I just want to make sure people know like hey do contracts with other players too, not just with me. Um, especially like if I take a short break. I don't want you to be missing your planes. That's another reason why I don't do a hundred like all my contracts with one player. Because if that if that one player decides to you know stop playing or something, then um, I'm not out of luck. Would you still someone's playing for one billion wallers? What'd you even do with one billion wallers? What would you even do with that many wallers? I would buy more planes. <laughs> That's what I would do. Eric said, no, I'm rich. Yeah. <laughs> That's where giveaways will be nice. Um, spread the love randomly. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly my thought process because I was trying to do like something where um, we have contract giveaways or people could sign up for a contract on like a first come first serve way but that didn't work out really as nicely as I thought it would. So now I was like, what about we do giveaways? And that's working out nicely. You know, we I had hidden add in the feature that tells you like, if there's only one airport you want to send it to, like let's say you have your, your plane configured for this one airport, you can have that option. I also had hidden, hidden add an option for how many winners. So like in this, well, a couple weeks ago, I had, I had 15 E-175s for my St. Martin to other people's airports. So that was really cool because uh, we had 15 winners. Which is nice. Uh, so it, it, it's, I think I'm going to talk to Hidden this week and see if he's all right, if he's comfortable with me opening it up to other, uh, to other, to the moderators, especially first for you guys. And that way we can uh, kind of get more giveaways happening. Bro, thanks for being here. Even if you weren't here for most of it, that's fine. I appreciate anybody stopping in because that helps a lot. You know, just even you guys stopping in and just saying hi in the chat, that really does help a lot. YouTube loves loves it when uh, when people do that. So it helps, uh, helps the channel and it helps, you know, kind of uh, show other people who may be interested in World of Airports this, this stuff because they say, oh, people are here. All right, fat. What is the best medium cargo plane? I would say the 752F. Um, the only, yeah, the 752F for sure. 738F is not bad. So is the 734F is not bad either. Um, they just, you know, they don't don't have as much carry or range. Um, and it really depends on what airport you're in. But the 752F is really like my go-to in almost all the airports. A C130, just don't like a plane that you use to show off um which i i, I use it <laughs> i do use it but it's like one of those planes that unless you're um unless you're you're swimming in gold planes and in wallers then don't unlock the c-130 what other oh the an-12 also the same thing it's like don't unlock that um if you're Trying to make money. Seven, uh, the 752F is probably a medium plane. Did you love Boeing or Airbus? I, I'm American, so when I first uh, when I first started playing World of Airports, um, I, I, my intention was to do a a Boeing only fleet. But then you know they started adding more and more L planes, like the A306 and the A332. Actually, the A332 first, and then the A 306 and I was like, oh, there goes my plan because I wanted, I needed, I, I unlocked the A332 because I wanted a, a plane that was 
cheaper in Waller's to buy than the 789 or the 777. So, uh, yeah, I started off with Boeing only, and then I just threw that out the window. Oh, that's a bad pun, isn't it? Sub and like the stream or something will happen to you? Oh, no. I hope something good. All right, guys, I'm going to be wrapping up. So, because, uh, what's it called? It is a YouTube stream, so YouTube streams tend to... I try to keep them shorter unless we got, like, a beta stream. Um, you know, hopefully we do get, like, some kind of beta or some more news about this taxi update that we're expecting that was shared on DevBlog19 on the World of Airports forum. You know, if you don't know, World of Airports is deeply focused on tackling the most challenging and frustrating issues, which is aircraft getting stuck on taxiways. So they're developing a brand new taxi system from the ground up, and it's about changing how traffic flows. They're gonna introduce features like hold position commands and some other more commands that we don't really know about. They talk about how complicated the taxi system is, and uh, we know we're expecting to see this taxi update in update 2.3. Not only that, we're also expecting some updates um, you know, with the A318, A319, and the A320. You can see that all on Instagram, where you got a bunch of the, these new models getting updated, along with the Neo variants as well. well there's what the, those are at least two new planes being added. You know, A320 is still getting painted, so they're still working on deliveries. Uh, A321, they're working on deliveries as well. But other than that, we don't really have much news on the time frame there. As far as what I'm doing with my um, with my airports. I am canceling a bunch of these non-player contracts, especially the ones that are not making me money. Um, I'm doing that so I can transfer in more and more planes from, from my transferred list and also purchase more planes for my fleet because fleet planes bring me the most money. Um, they bring you the most money too. Now, pl non-player or player planes that aren't yours, they'll still bring you the same amount of money as non-player planes, but I still like them because you're gonna get the 10 out of 10 hand you're gonna get the 10 handlings right off the bat which gives you the biggest rewards in silver planes and in xp um and then don't forget last but not least about the call sign the fat airlines call sign competition on the fat airlines discord you have uh you have two weeks to to compete to uh you know either take a screenshot of your plane or to buy more planes to maybe get a, a good call sign and uh, you have until April 20th, 2024, you can do four screenshots total. Uh, no, don't edit the screenshots and you must have up-to-date game UI. That includes the version number on the bottom, which needs to be version 2.2.6, excuse me. Um, and we're gonna have nine winners on this competition because we have three brackets, one bracket LHR only, another bracket for in Innsbruck, Leipzig, Washington, San Diego, and St. Martin. And then the third bracket is for Bari, Prague, Nagoya, and Muscat. We're gonna uh, we're gonna decide the winners on stream on April 27th uh, on Twitch at 11 a.m. Eastern. So guys, I wanna thank you all for being here. Uh, thanks for joining us here today on YouTube. And I hope you guys have a fantastic uh, time. Make sure you, you uh, Make sure you do subscribe to the channel. We're gonna have a lot more videos coming out about World of Airports. And then don't be afraid to join us on Twitch next Saturday where we do uh, more live streams um, outside of YouTube as well. So guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. And uh, if you're on 2.2.5, make sure you update it, man. We're on 2.2.7 now. Um, that's the latest version. But guys, hope you have a fantastic day. Uh, thank you for joining and uh, yeah. I will see you guys next week on Twitch. Fat out. Peace.